Hi, it's Glenn Livingston here to talk to you about advanced testing with AdWords. And today we're going to be talking about improving your click sales and profits much faster than your competition by testing more than one thing at a time with a very special methodology called Taguchi. Thanks to David Bullock for bringing that to the internet so many years ago. He's since become a good friend of mine. So let's talk about the Taguchi miracle. If you did not see the previous video, there's a link to it right below. I ask that you watch that first because it's important that you understand the all combinations model where we can test as many different options. Uh, so far, we're talking just about AdWords ads. So you could test um, as many elements as you like. An element would be something like the headline or the first line of the ad or the second line of the ad and as many options as you like, um, which would be different variations in the headline, different variations in the body copy, different variations in the display URL. Um, and the caveat there was that you had to make sure that you tested every combination possible. So if you had two headlines you wanted to test and two different first lines of, um, of body copy in the ad, then you needed to test four ads. And if you had three headlines and three different versions of body copy, then you needed to test nine. And maybe you tested more than two elements. Maybe you tested the headline and the body copy and the display URL, and maybe you had four elements of each, and that started to become kind of onerous because you'd have to test four headlines with four pieces of body copy and four different URLs. Four times four times four is 64 different ads that you'd be running, and it costs a lot of money and a lot of time, and, and frankly, it's kind of morale draining to sit and wait for that test to complete, unless you've got so much traffic that you can do it in a couple of days, in which case it's still a little dangerous because you... They always want to test to run for at least a week because traffic tends to vary over the course of the week. So the main benefit of the all combinations model is testing when you test everything together is that you find out the exact right combination of elements and options that work. You know which exact headline works best with which exact body copy and which exact URL. And that's really valuable. And you can see things like that that your competitors can't see when they're just testing one thing at a time because... Sometimes a headline only works in the context of a particular display URL or, or of a particular line of body copy. Um, and go back and watch the first video if that doesn't make sense to you. And, and the drawback is the time, money, and energy it takes to complete. So let's look at the Taguchi solution. What's Taguchi? Well, first of all, it, it's a fancy math mathematical thing, but you don't have to understand anything about the math at all. All you need to know is that that math can make you rich and... Um, and really that it can just give you an edge on the competition if you'll if you'll play with it. Um, and when I say play with it, what I mean is use the websites that will do all the math for you. What Taguchi says is, hey, the full factorial model, the all combinations model, same thing. Uh, the all combinations model is very valuable, but it's very onerous also. What if there was a way that we could sacrifice some of the precision of that model for the speed and resources and energy that we could save um, if, if we were to approximate the results instead of get the exact results. So the way that they do that is they look at the all combinations model for a given test. So you'll kind of go in and you'll specify all the different elements and options, just like you might lay out if you were going to do an all combinations test. And then they'll take a special subset of those combinations very special subset, which allows their fancy mathematical formulas to make an, a, a prediction of what the results would have been if you tested everything together. And essentially what it's doing is it's, it's compressing the test for you so that it doesn't cost as much, doesn't take as much time, it's not as onerous to set up. And I think of this kind of like the 80-20 rule you know, what if you could get 80% of the results of a full factorial model uh, with only 20% of the effort? And that's that's really what the Taguchi does for you. Um, you are sacrificing some precision, so there's an extra little testing step you need to go through at the end to be sure that you've chosen the right ad and, and to protect your, your results, but it's well worth learning how to do that. Um, I want to tell you that there are free websites available, which will set this all up for you. Um, those free websites will limit you to um, only two options with each of the elements that you choose. It's generally a good idea to go there first and learn how to do it before you 
uh, move on to the paid software that removes those limitations. Um, and, and a lot of people go forever with the free software. So, um, yeah, I, I want you to know that you really don't have to spend the money here. You can, you can get started and be way ahead of your competitors without any money at all. Okay. But, but there is software for those of you that want to move forward and I'll show you where to get that too. Um, and let's go through a very specific example. Let's go back to the example we started with in the first video, which was, do you love dogs? Help abandoned dogs find a loving home today. Homesfordogs.com, which is a fictitious URL. At least it was at the time that I created this. Okay. So that's the ad we want to beat. And let's say I've got a really fancy set of changes that I think might help. Like in the headline, I want to know what if I replace the word do you with the word really. But I've also got some other questions in the headline, like maybe the word like is better than the word love. I don't know. Or maybe the word puppies is better than the word dogs. So I've actually created three different elements for the headline, um, which are going to vary those combinations. So I'm actually going to have eight different headlines that I'm testing, but I'm defining, I'm defining a piece and part of the headline as an element um, so that I can rotate them all within the context of this test. So you can define your elements however you want to, as long as none of the options contradict anything else. And in this case, you could start out with any of the first two words you wanted to. Like I could start out with do you, um, and I could pick love or like, and I could pick dogs or puppies. Do you like puppies? Do you love dogs? Do you love puppies? Really like puppies? Really love puppies? Really like dogs? You see what I'm saying? So each one of those becomes an element and the options here are in black um, illustrated for you. The fourth element that I wanted to test is the word abandoned versus the word lonely in the first line of the ad copy. And the fifth element is the word dogs versus the word puppy. So help lonely dogs find a loving home today, help abandoned dogs find a loving home today, help lonely puppies find an, a loving home today, find help abandoned puppies find a loving home today. I want all those rotations to go through. And, and I want them to all rotate with the different variations of the headline that we defined above. Um, and similarly, I'm looking to rotate um, the word loving versus secure. Maybe people want to find a secure home for their dogs, not a loving home. And last, you know, you don't have to put the www dot in the actual display URL, the green part at the bottom. You don't actually have to put that there. And sometimes it works better if you don't. And sometimes it works better if you do. And I don't really know which one's going to be better in this case. And so I think you can see here that even with this limited test, which is limited to two option and each two options in each of the seven elements, we've got two times two times two times two times two times two, two to the seventh number of options to test. And I should have done the math before, but let's do it right now. So two to the two times two times two is eight times two is 16. That's four elements times two is 32. That's five elements times two is 64. That's six. So the seventh element is going to get me to 128, 128 different ads that I would have had to test in the full factorial model, the all combinations model. And that just would not have made sense. That just wouldn't have worked. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause this video while I go load up the website that I want to show you. There's going to be a link to the website below this. And I'm going to show you how you can test all of these things at once very quickly using a very limited number of ads. You'll be very surprised.